have an amazing, amazing, amazing guest with us. Mm-hmm. Her name is Mothoni Gitao, the do-it-yourself babe, content creator, YouTube personality. So, Mothoni, mm-hmm. welcome to the Thank adults you. in the room. Thank you so much. Uh, there's pressure with that intro. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're feeling it, You're eh? feeling it. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> Where? Even my mom does not say that. <laughs> You know, to the summer, we must build confidence. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you're amazing. You're amazing. Mm. Oh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Karibu Sana. We Thank are so you. happy you could join us. Thank you for having me. So I went through your profile on all the socials. Okay. All. And mm-hmm. I just want to know, first and foremost, of all the pets, why cats? Because they're dope and they don't bother me. Really? They're, yeah, they're very independent. They yeah. To be honest, they are. Yeah. 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 Dogs are so needy. Yeah. I've lived in a house with a dog for the last like four months. Mm. Yes. At first, I was like, oh, cute. I might <laughs> consider it. And I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. They get upset, they scratch. Yes. Mm. No, they do. But then you just give them a pull. Like, I mm. just, I like that. Okay, they... I have two cats, but I hate cats. They are oh. not mine. They're my, sis- they're my child's. Okay, but For they're me. yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they like if they, do they come in for food? We you give know, them, we give them. Okay. You know, yeah, you yeah. don't choose cats, they choose you. Oh, wow. And wow. Yeah. 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 This one just moved in. in our yes. House. Wow. Like yes. In my laundry area. Ah, you. Uh, look at you. <laughs> you're a cat know. mom. <laughs> and move on. Yeah, I'm, a gran- I'm, a gra- I'm a grandma. I'm a grandma. Then you're a grandma. But then I'm a grandma. My daughter calls me, Mama, you know you're a grandma. And I hate those cats. Yeah. <laughs> because I have to, I was told by a therapist, allow your daughter to express herself. Mm. Yeah. And since I speak about therapy here, so I had to consider keeping them yeah. for their hands. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've, I've thought of them disappearing, but hey, no, they'll, yeah. they'll find their way back. <laughs> they yeah. Don't together. worry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having um, me. Now, for those of us who, I know you've been given a great introduction, but for those of us who might not know who you are, mm-hmm. in your own words, please tell us who you are. I am Muthoni Gitao, a dope human being, a uh, cat mom. I don't like most people. Mm-hmm. I only like the people I like. Mm-hmm. Wow. So if you're not one of them, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. At least you're a straight shooter. Then yeah. How did you become an influencer if you don't like people and you know you have to interact with people? Because I'm here and they're there. Oh. <laughs> there's a bit of distance, eh? Yeah. Oh. There's like a screen between us. Uh-huh. There's a phone between us. No, it's I. I like I said. I don't like people. I like people I like. Mm. But. I didn't choose to become an influencer. I can't say I chose it. Mm-hmm. It's just that what I do led me there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what I do is what I love. Wow. It just so happens that it pushed me to that side of things. Mm. And how has been the journey? And how many years <sighs> has this, what you do, what you like been? It's been, I started in 2015. When 20 what? 21. 2021. Yeah. So basically around six years. Mm-hmm going on seven Mm. uh because i started like in jan so it's been crazy really and i technically became an influencer last year Mm. Um, why why do you say that because as much as i'd been doing it for so long people didn't care much for what i was doing Mm -hmm. until like last year was it last year yeah last year Mm -hmm. or the year before that Mm -hmm. last year during covid Oh, before COVID. Right, right. <laughs> so the, the year before. Mm-hmm. That's when people are like, oh, she's cool. I like what she's doing. And then people started noticing and paying attention. But I had been doing that work for years uh, before. Yeah. Now guys were like, oh, cool. But I kept it going. Mm. Yeah. So I'm proud of myself for that. Mm. Mm. Wow. So, so f- for those of us who are, who are let's say, because obviously there's people out there who may not know your brand yet. Yes. Uh, can you give us a synopsis of the kind of content you create so mm. that we have an idea of the work that you do? Mm. Okay, so there's lifestyle, but my main aspect is DIYs and interior design. Mm. So I call myself an interior design, no, an interior decor and lifestyle content creator. Mm. So that's where my work is. So if you care about making your house beautiful, yes, I'm your person mm-hmm. and I, you're welcome. I saw a video you did of how and when you began your YouTube channel. Yes. Please give us that story. <laughs> it's a, I watched it today oh. and I was like, hmm, interesting. Right? People don't know the work that goes into this stuff. Yeah. Mm. So let me take you back. 2015. Yes. Um, just before that, I used to watch a lot of videos on makeup. That was like the thing I liked at that point because mm-hmm. I had just started like doing makeup and I had so much interest in that. So I watched a lot of videos and I was on YouTube a lot. And I think 
I was a pretty decent makeup artist. Mm. And then guys started asking me questions about, oh, so how do you do your lipstick like that? How do you do your eyeliner? Mm. And then I was like, okay, maybe I can share. So I I got tired of telling people over yeah. and over what I do. Yeah. So I was like, DMs if I just or just friends, just friends. Yeah. Yeah. Like if I made a video and send it to you. Yeah. You'll problem know. solved and, yeah. like it, and you, I don't have to repeat myself yeah. wow. <laughs> because oh you don't like people that much that's it <laughs> you see <laughs> yes, I'm keeping it's coming track. full circle yes. <laughs> yes, yes. now it makes sense <laughs> yeah. so that's how I ended up there so when I first started I didn't have my own equipment I didn't think I could shoot on a phone but I had a lot of friends who are photographers mm-hmm. so I hit up one of my friends and I was like hey do you want to help me shoot mm. and he was like sure he comes through we did like two videos this point, I'm living in Athi River. I've quit my job. Mm-hmm. Well, I quit my job because I didn't like working. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> Who does? <laughs> right? I'm like, can I just be paid to exist? Right, <laughs> like, right. That's all I want and for my life. And is working out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky. Uh-huh. I'm, still to g- I'm still yet to get to that point of just being paid to exist. Mm. We'll get there. Mm. <laughs> but so uh, I'm living in Athi River. Yes. So I, my friend comes over. His name is Mahebo. Mm. He's a travel photographer. We shot like a couple of videos, then he became busy. Mm. Then I hit up another friend called Muhoro Masharia. Mm. He comes through. We shot like seven videos in one day because wow. I was like, just do as much as you can. Yes. Then he gets busy because he used to um, live in Nakuru and in Nairobi. Mm. So it was so hard just keeping track of, okay, so where is he now? Then another friend of mine called Chule, who's mm. a dope photographer, follow Joseph Chule, thank you, mm. lives in Ruaka mm. and he had lights. So that was like a selling factor. I was mm. like, hmm. Let's uh, go with the light. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he has a camera and he has lights. Yes. Right. He's a photographer, doesn't know much about video, but he's like, we can learn together. Mm. Yes. So I start commuting from Athi River uh-huh. to Ruaka wow. to go shoot. <laughs> oh, I wow. would walk with a bag. You see the way like those backpackers walk with their bag? Yeah. yeah. That was me. Yeah. 6 a.m. in the morning wow. going to Ruaka. Wow. wow. So that I can shoot at least four or five videos in wow. one sitting. Mm-hmm. Change for of clothes. You, yeah, no, for the month. Because wow. he's he has a full-time job. Yes. And his photography is his side gig at this point. Yes. Oh, right. So I don't want to infringe on his time. You have mm. to work with so, his time. Yes. Mm. So when he has time, mm. shoot five videos. That's one month of content. Yeah. Wow. So you've carried clothes. You've carried supplies. Mm-hmm. Depending on the videos you're shooting. Mm. So I used to have this process. So I'm doing like DIY crafts. I'm doing makeup. I'm doing skincare. Mm. So I would start from skincare and then work it up all the way where the last video I'm doing I'm wearing makeup mm-hmm. oh. so I come bare face do skincare mm-hmm. and they're cool Very then creative. I have a makeup trick so show you the trick wow. then do my makeup yeah. that's another video and then do a DIY craft where I have a full face of makeup mm-hmm. and then I'm showing you something nice <laughs> oh my nice. goodness I love that a sustainable that. treat right now now that you know the process that you went through and I know things are different right now yeah. than how they were 2015 but do you think it's something that, uh, because I see a lot of youth mm-hmm. who would like to tell you, like I have a niece who's telling me she wants to be an influencer. I was like, go back to school. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But you see, that, that's me being wow. a parent. <laughs> yeah. 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 As you're saying, it's a journey. Is it something you would encourage the youth or young people who are listening? M- Modoni, yes. Modoni, I like your answer. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we need to go into a oh, very, sorry. very, very, <laughs> don't worry, Barbara. That's a very good question mm. because yeah. we have people listening and they're curious. They want to know, is it sustainable? Is mm. it not? Mm. You know, you're here giving us your story and today we are having a conversation with Modoni Getao the truth behind the life of an influencer you have any questions for Modoni please send them to at Spice FM KE on Facebook Instagram and Twitter send us a text 40127 Ukombele at the top of the hour we'll be opening the, ca- the call so that you can have a one on one with her but until then we'll be right back Spice FM, and we are the adults in the room. Today's guest is Mudoni Getau, the truth behind the life of an influencer. Now, Mudoni is a do it yourself babe, a content creator, and a YouTube personality. You have any questions for Mudoni? You want to tell her how you feel about her? You want to know anything about her craft, being an influencer, do it to yourself, content creator, YouTube, everything? She has the answers. She's 
experience it. It's her life. It's her everyday life. Send us a text on 40127 at Spice FM KE on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Remember to always use the hashtag adults KE. So before we went on that small break, Barbara asked Modoni a question. So Barbara, ask her again, uh, please. Now, if you join the conversation, we are the adults in the room. And today we are talking to Modoni Gitao, the DIY, DIY Hi. babe, content creator, and a YouTube personality. And the conversation we want to have today is the truth behind the life of an influencer. B influencer, Because many of us, we see a lot of them. Yeah. Some of them do genuine work. Some of them I, I do very questionable things. And I'm like, is it for money? Is it like, for fun? Or it? Yeah. Now, before we went on the break, Modoni was telling us her journey uh, from 2015 and uh, how she had to sacrifice certain things mm. now i wanted to ask you between now 2015 i know the times have changed and you are the crop of influencers maybe who got the harsh beating or a panel beat to get back into reality and i see a lot of young girls and boys okay let me say men and women uh, uh, because they're about 18 or they're in a campus mm -hmm. they want to get into that journey that you've got into because they're only seeing the, the fruits that you have right now, they don't know the backstory. You know, many a times we see the YouTube, we see the glamour, <laughs> we see the endorsements, but the journey, is this something you can advise someone to do? Because I see a lot of young people doing a lot of shortcuts to get into the influencing industry. Mm. I would still say yes. But I think um, one thing I would tell anyone <coughs> who wants to do anything online is you have to know yourself. Mm. If you do not know who you are, people are going to define you and you'll be busy trying to play to their game mm. because everyone will be like, okay, I think you should do this. And you'll be like, oh, mm. okay, this person thinks ABC. I should mm. probably do that. Mm. People online <coughs> are busy and idle. Busy <laughs> telling everyone how to live their lives. It's true, and idle because all you're doing is telling everyone else how to live their life. Mm. Mm. So you... You're, you're like, it's an escapist space, mm -hmm. right? So if it's someone who's young, I know they, it's, it, they only see the glamour. Yeah. There's a lot of work that goes into this. I, I did a video, I think last month, mm -hmm. about what my day looks like. Mm -hmm. And everyone was shocked. Because mm -hmm. people think it's just like, oh, you know, I'll just, you know, grab my camera. Mm -hmm. It's like, hi, guys. <laughs> and yes, then, my YouTube well, channel. Well, we channel. <laughs> And then post it, and yeah. then everyone will love it, right. and then everyone will be happy, and yeah. then I'll do that again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No, that's that's not what that looks like. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people don't understand that it's actual work. It's a job. And that's when people go like, but you're just an influencer. Mm. I'm like, if I could give you my day, yeah, you would run back to your job ASAP. Yeah. Because you'll be like, no, that's, yeah. that's just not it. Mm -hmm. The hours are long. Mm -hmm. You have to constantly be on your toes because it's like, okay, so what do I do next? Um, there's the people telling you this is what you should do. Mm -hmm. There's like voices from all directions. Mm -hmm. And you have to constantly fight and battle with yourself. Mm -hmm. Again, there's this thing. There's a lot of entitlement from people who consume your content. Right. And again, it goes back to knowing yourself. Because mm -hmm. if you do not know who you are, people will be over there saying, oh, give us this. And you're like, okay, cool. Here you come. Right, um, right. Can you do a video about this? Mm. And I mean, I'm like, if I get to it, sure. Mm. If not, like, huh. Yeah. So you will consume what I give you. Let me ask you something you've talked about on how dealing with people because uh, you've mentioned people have something to say for everything. Yes. How have you dealt with public perception? Yeah. I really don't care. Wow. Like, that's my... I know myself. Mm. And I'm not going to let anyone who first of all doesn't know me personally, yeah. come and tell me, this is what I think you are. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you can think that. Doesn't mean that that's what I am. Yeah. Mm. It's that mm. simple. Yeah. Knowing yourself is so important because then you're not defined by anyone around you. Mm. Yeah. People, I think a lot of people project their own insecurities and that's how I see mm -hmm. it. I'm like, you must see something in me that mm. makes you feel a certain way about yourself. Yeah. Right. That's where you're over here yeah. telling me all these things. Oh, I don't think you're pretty. I'm like, okay, what do you want me to do about that? Mm. <laughs> like, like, I had a, like I had some control over it. Yeah. It's like, okay, cool. Right. Uh, yeah. So I'm a plastic surgery? Is, yeah. like, is that <laughs> your suggestion? And will you pay for it? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Am I supposed to go hide yeah. or should I come and cry and be yeah. like, oh my God, yeah. this person who went and created a pseudo account yeah. so that they can text me this mm. thinks I'm not pretty. Mm. And you're not even bold enough to have your own photo there. Mm. Mm. Why would I take your, why would mm. I take your word mm. with any weight? Mm. As in, first of all, have the confidence to have your name 
and your face out there, mm-hmm. then we might be able to talk. And even then, yes. I really don't care. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. I'm so just if, like, mm. So even in this process of getting to a point where you have that level of resilience and you can say, these situations don't bother me, I know who I am. Yeah. What was that process like coming from, if you think back to when you started, to where you are now and mm. you've developed that attitude, yeah. what were some of the, the key sort of components that led to you having that, that mindset? Were there certain situations where you're like, you know what, this has actually hurt me and I've learned from that? How, how did that that process go? Yeah, definitely. Because there's always, um, before you get to that point, you have to go through that process of people will say things and they'll get to you. Mm-hmm. And then now the question becomes is like, why did that get to me? Mm. Right? Mm. So first of all, before I, I ask that question, it's like, okay. Um, I've never been someone to ask you, okay. Um, I get where you're coming from. Can you tell me what I can do to improve? Mm. No, I usually go back to myself because mm. I'm like, did this make me happy? Mm-hmm. I care a lot. I'm those ones who go with the flow. Mm. If something makes me happy, then I'm cool because mm. then it satisfies whatever I wanted it to do for me. Mm. If it doesn't make you happy, I'm like, well, that's really sad. Mm. But I can't do anything about that. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. I can't go change it. I've already yeah. done it. Yeah. Um, and also... Maybe it just wasn't meant for you. Yeah. Mm. You get. Yeah. So it took time to get to that point because at first when you're starting, no one wants you. Of course. No one tells yeah. you yeah. that, you know, you think, uh, you know, it starts with your friends and family where they yeah. watch all your videos. They're like, you're so dope. You're yeah. amazing. <laughs> and you're like, oh my God, they love me. Yeah. Yes. And you think you're everything. Right. <laughs> and you're like, ah, oh, look, I'm amazing. Yeah. Mm. these people. Yeah. And then someone comes like, mm, so that's what you did. Mm. And you're like, Kai. Yeah, you feel it. Um, <laughs> well, like, yes. Mm. You know, you start mm. questioning yourself. Mm. So by the time you start realizing that like, you know what, I'm not going to be defined by strangers. And some people are strangers, but they become like your friends. They become a community over time. But I am those guys who believe in the um, don't leave for the applause Mm. because then the negativity is what's going to take you down. Yeah. So if I have, if I'm waiting for you to clap for me so that I can feel good about what I'm doing. Yeah. The moment you don't. That's the end of it. Because then I'm just going to be over there sulking and crying and depressed. Yeah. So I don't let my happiness be measured by that. So what I started doing was I would post a video and just go. You do, do you don't look at the... No, I'll look at them the next day, ah. the next morning. And then I would only look at comments uh-huh. when I know I'm happy. Right. I won't be bothered. Yeah. Right. So I'm just like, yeah, wow. and I move on. Yeah. And that's how I built that wow. over time. Wow. So if you feel like when you go there... And you can delete. Like me, I tell people, delete that. Yeah, mm. like, it's your space. You can choose what you want in your space. That's your wall. That's mm. your timeline. Yeah. You choose what you want to be seen there. I like that. And 90% of the time... When re- people come and leave those comments, do you know why they're doing that on your page? Yeah. Because if they wrote it on theirs, no one would see it. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they're leaving you as a <laughs> yes. Yes. get yeah, famous. You need to delete Simeon. and block. And sometimes these two think I'm overreacting. <laughs> they're like, no, bro, bro, you don't need. I'm like, delete and block. Mm. There's nothing. It's yeah. part of cutting ties. Yeah. yeah. I don't know you. Yeah. yeah. And I don't yeah. owe you leaving your comment there. If I'm looking at it, I'm like, I don't like this. I don't want anyone else to see it. I can remove it. Yeah. yeah. If you want someone else to see it, feel free to go do it on your page. Mm. And like, they do yeah. good for you. I once yeah. had someone give me an analogy so very similar to that. They said that if you were walking in the street and some random person came up to you and insulted you, like how much of that would you actually take in? Mm. You'd be like, okay, have a good day. That you exactly. know, you'd, you'd carry on with life. Yes. Yeah, ex- exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> in fact, let me say one of the things that I used to, I did about a year ago, is curate my timeline mm. on Twitter. Mm. So sometimes I wake up one day and I do some random tweet just so that I can get the mm. mad people and block them. Mm. <laughs> yes. Let the, you're baiting them to yes. come out. Yes. Show yes. yourselves. Yes. If what people say, you guys call you don't know go the way she operates. Right. She's on a strategy because I agree with you. Mm. If you have something negative to say, Say it on your own timeline, mm-hmm. not mine. Yeah. We are having a conversation with Mudhani Getao, mm-hmm. the truth behind the life of an influencer. Please send us your questions for her on AdSpiceFMKE. Use the hashtag AdultsKE on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Send us a text, 40127. We are the adults in the room. Are the adults in the room. And this room is on fire. <laughs> That's what I like. I know, right? Mm. <laughs> we have a guest with us, Modoni Gitao. The truth behind the life 
of an influencer you have some questions for modoni you want to know about her life more about her life you want to be schooled you want to receive some inspiration send us a text for 0127 at spice fm ke on facebook instagram and twitter always use the hashtag adults ke so modani i have mm -hmm. a question for you because i've been dying dying to ask when you <laughs> came in you said your hand was hurt yes please tell the listener what happened to your hand <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to say what I said? No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> now the lips. We're going to find know. out. Clean your lips. Yes. So, yes. Um, I was working on a project yesterday and I ended up spraining my wrist. Yes. Yeah. Goodness me. I was so using a, a drill. A drill. Mm. So, how did you get yourself into the do it yourself? Biashara. Huh. <laughs> because it's a biashara. Yes. Yeah. Um, hmm, that's a very good question. <laughs> 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 because I started off doing just crafts, mm. right? Um, and then it's just something that's been growing over time. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you start with one thing and then you're like, hmm, I wonder if I can do this. And then you give it a go. Mm. And then you're like, okay, now that I'm good at that, mm. maybe I can do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I started like just doing... I didn't do arts and crafts in school, mm -hmm. which was sad. Oh, shame. yes. Wow. Now look at you. Because I've been getting A's. Imagine. You know? Imagine. Right. All those A's gone. Only you. I did, but it didn't I should have been life. born earlier. <laughs> 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 so I, I always had an interest in that. So I started like painting and then I would just try out stuff mm. and then play around with things that I have around. Mm. And then just it morphed and morphed and morphed and... Now I'm working on a four-bedroom house in Karen. What? Wow. And a renovation in Limuru. Nice, what? nice. Hey, you're wow. multi, multi talented. <laughs> so clearly. You have a team, or you just work solo? I have a team. Mm. Yes, but uh, it's always fun when sometimes I like call in extra fundies, yes. and then they come and they're like, "Ah, so for my nakwapi." Uh, and I'm like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Mimi, and they're, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, madam. Uh, wow. <laughs> How does that make you feel? It makes me feel awesome. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Cause, um, a lot of people do tell me, oh, you know, you're doing um, a man's job. Mm. And I'm like, but what is how a though? Job? Exactly. Mm. I'm like, what makes it a man's job? Yeah. Because I've never gone to a tool shop and found a hammer that's specific for women. Mm. Mm. Right? Because wow. then mm. you'd have it. Yeah. If, if it's only meant for dudes, they'd, wow. they'd be like, here's a lesser version. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. they do, you know, with the razors. Here's mm -hmm. a pink one for you. Yeah. And a blue one for him. <laughs> and it's the same thing. Right. right. And we pay more. And right. Why? <laughs> you know, like, that is like... What? You know, I buy blue. Yeah. I'm like, you're not going to tell me which color I'm going to pick. Right. Thank you. It's like a day <laughs> day. It does the same thing, right? It, it's the same exact mm. product. Wow. Just we're marketing it to women. So mm. it's like, oh, pink will make you happy. Here yeah, you go. Yeah. And then I have to pay more for the same product. For the same thing. Yeah. yeah. So I'm glad, though, that they don't do that with hammers because maybe I'd have to pay more <laughs> for, a, for a, a, a less strong a hammer. Less strong hammer. Yeah. Right. But like, I don't consider it to be like a man's job. Mm. I think anyone can do any job. Yes. If you're good at it, do it. If you want to do it, do it. You seem to have an edge with wood. <laughs> mm. You know. Mm. Seems like wood and you are very good friends. We're friends. Yeah. Mm. Why? I Take us through that. It's How did you land <laughs> there? Yeah. I think it's just like, I, that thing I was telling you where I'll start with one thing and then move on to the next. So right now, I'm in my wood phase. Mm. And I'm slowly trying to shift into metal. I want to mm. do some welding. Hey. Right. See how that feels. Right. And then... Hey, hey, hey. Arnold, are you <laughs> hearing? I'm hearing. Yeah. Yeah. First, did you... Like, Arnold, speak up, Len. Like, would it work on you? I didn't hear it. Please oh. For her. Uh, like, seriously? <laughs> yeah. We're having a serious conversation here. You you know, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll, tell I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you on the break. I'll tell you on the break. Yeah. <laughs> you give us a <laughs> You give us yes, a serious <laughs> conversation. Yeah. Okay. So let's get back to this conversation. The truth behind the life of an influencer. I have realized even from conversation and what I've seen on your socials, you're a lady of many hats. Yeah. If I can say that. Yes. Yes, you're a lady of many hats. How have you managed to separate that, uh, your job, mm. your influencing, your passion, and your family and your personal life? Because I know, like, let me give an example of myself. Sometimes I find a challenge to strike a balance between my work mm -hmm. and that. So because your life, quote unquote, it is public. 
Let's be honest. Mm. Mm. You might not want to accept it and you might say, I don't like people. Mm. But yes, when we go to your YouTube <laughs> channel, based on the numbers, yeah. you are a public figure in your own rights. Mm. And that's why you're an influencer. Yeah. So how have you managed to separate that? Creating boundaries. Mm. So like um there's a time i think i was doing a video and then i mentioned oh i'm going to see my mom and then someone was like why didn't you show us your mom I'm like because uh, i did not want to yeah. you know like <laughs> she did not say that <laughs> no actually that's you what i told them oh, yeah, okay. yeah that was the comment i'm like yeah. i'm not showing my mom yeah. uh because i've chosen this life yeah. for myself and even that has limits like there's certain things that i don't share mm. like because i think sometimes when people watch like you'll watch I, I i say you see snippets and you assume you know my entire life mm -hmm. because you're seeing parts like i can film a whole week a whole week right mm -hmm. and then i'll post a video that's like 20 minutes how mm -hmm. many hours have i had in that week mm -hmm. 20 minutes can't equate yeah everything that has happened in, in that whole week, week yeah. right but someone will see that and be like that's her entire life mm -hmm. it's not they're just in a page of that chapter yes. and they assume they know you. you know the entire book mm. that's not the case mm. so i have boundaries where i'm like just because i've chosen this doesn't mean that now i have to be like okay here's my mom here's my dad here's my brother my sister like you know i have a family mm. and it ends there yeah <laughs> yeah right mm. so everything else like i choose i pick and choose what to share and I usually tell myself that if it excites you and you watch it, good. If it doesn't, it's also fine. There's people who do have like their entire lives mm -hmm. out there. And if that's what you're looking for, I'm probably not the person for you. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, the second question is a bit personal. So mm -hmm. if you're, all, you're allowed to say, I am not comfortable to answer that. Okay. You've told me about issues of boundaries and mm. you've set boundaries. And I like that because I try and do the same. My family is none of your business. If you happen to see them, good luck. And it's one of those. But uh, in your process of setting off boundaries, I noticed, uh, because I would follow you, mm. I noticed there's a, a part of your life when it came to your personal life yeah. that a couple of months ago, you decided to openly put it in the public. Yes. Wow, what ignited that sharing? Because many people had not seen that side of your life mm. but you brought it to the fore what to uh, because now i'm asking you as yes. uh, madoni what prompted you to just decide let me open Do up that. about this section of my life yeah and i'm not saying it because i want you to be the one to say <laughs> what section <laughs> yeah. to the person who's listening to us okay so i was in a relationship for about seven eight years and it ended Mm -hmm. and i decided to share that mm -hmm. the reason i wanted to do that i wanted to do it in my own words mm -hmm. um because you know when like a lot of things happen and people like to go and mm, have their perception of what or happened create a narrative. Or create, yes mm -hmm. they, the story is written mm -hmm. and you have no control over what that is yes and for me it was something that me making a choice that was good for me mm. and i've always been someone who lives their life so unapologetically i was like this can't be that thing that i say oh i'm gonna do this behind my closed doors mm. and then people will be like oh what happened mm. we don't see so and so anymore yeah. uh, wait what right mm. and then it's like oh dodge that question say mm. nothing mm. and for me i was like it's a part of my life and yeah. like that channel is literally called just doing life yes. and mm. that's, yes. that's a really big thing and it's very easy we could have easily just been like ignore ignore and pretend nothing is happening and mm. go mm. but i've always been proud of the fact that i have no qualms or no problem about how i live my life okay. mm. and i choose to i can choose to share something mm. and it won't change my choice yeah you get mm. so there was a lot of because there are stories that came out afterwards mm. you became a celebrity and it was didn't know you a <laughs> celebrity should i open my dms in about five days you my were name was like you were discussed in every I know. radio, in, including this one. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, you yes. talked about me? Yes, yes. I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so that's why I asked that question. Yes. <laughs> With Overnight for someone who did not know you, mm. they were like, you know, like those clickbaits yes. from uh, mainstream media houses. Yeah. They showcased, they forgot what you do. Yeah. Or your and it channel, became about that. And yeah. it became about that. And then it morphed into something the, completely yeah. different. Yeah. That mm. was not like, even in the subject. Yeah, because right. for me, I think it was more of like, how dare you? Mm. Yes. You woman you want mm. to sit there and tell us and mm. for me i actually enjoy when i piss people off to that like extent that thrill. yeah i'm <laughs> yeah, like, I oh, feel like go off. yeah yeah <laughs> it's fun mm. because i'm like 
how how are you so pressed about something you know nothing about yeah. Yeah. to start with yeah. Yeah. like you're writing essays and you're giving mm. people advice mm. based on something analogies mm. yeah mm. and it, like mm. you're working so hard people are sending me emails <laughs> wow. telling me oh you fumbled the bag wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 I'm here. do you want me to show you my account <laughs> oh my goodness right you get yeah. like, you see this is someone talking from a point of literally no idea yeah. because What you've seen is yes. us sitting here together, yeah. yes. talking about anything and everything but us. Mm. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but Imagine. you you want to say that given this eh. conversations we've had, eh. for, uh, you know everything yeah. Eh, yeah. about yeah. this life that has happened over seven plus years. Yeah. Yeah. you know nothing. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know what we have told you. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. we're yeah. having a conversation with Mudoni Gitao, and it's amazing. See, I told you guys. I told you guys it would be amazing. It would be amazing, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, indeed. The truth behind the life of an influencer. Please, we are going to open the we gonna open the calls at the top of the hour in a few 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 minutes. But before then, please send us a text for 0127 spicefm.co.ke is where you can listen and watch us live. Tony, I have I, I I must ask this question. Mm-hmm. Why did you guys decide to do it the both of you? Ask that again. <laughs> so before we went to the break, you were yeah. sharing about how you sh- were in a relationship for yeah. seven eight years, and you went online. Yeah, and you shared what happened. Mm-hmm. So why did you choose to do it together? Why didn't you just do it alone? Because. Then it just looks like it's one person saying one thing, mm. right? So, we have had videos together on the channel. Mm. He was a part of the channel, so it only made sense for us to sit there together. And also because we we are actually friends now, mm. like that's not a lie. Or it wasn't. There's people who said, "Oh, we just said said that because it's really clout and whatever." Mm. No, we mm. have remained friends because mm. again, it's. It was seven years, mm. right? Yeah. And when that decision was made, it was we both felt like it was good for both of us at that mm. point. Yeah. Mm. To just go discover ourselves separately. Yeah. Right. So we decided to sit down and do it. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. So uh, I guess what what have what would you say has been your biggest takeaway in um, or the lessons that you've learned in actually working quite closely with your ex partner and also pursuing your career because naturally a lot of people will say it's it can be very difficult mixing business with pleasure yeah um how was that process for you well it wasn't hard mm. <laughs> because um i was the one who was like very aware of everything that would go into like youtube and stuff so we'd plan we used to have one video together a week mm-hmm. but i used to create more content on that channel mm-hmm. and i used to run the channel mm-hmm. so basically i did that work and mm-hmm. then he would join me on certain days because before we used to have those conversations on my personal channel which ended up becoming the diy channel mm. so when i decided to have a second channel it was like okay we can shift these conversations here and i remember even like in the first video where we said this is a channel about living life where we are two people who are in a relationship but mm-hmm. the channel is not about the relationship. relationship. Yes. Right, right. Yeah. So it was like cuz people used to enjoy those conversations and it was well the conversations will go on cuz I still have other friends and mm-hmm. people and there are things that are very important to me to have those conversations because there are conversations about things that are considered taboo things we like to sweep under the rug we're told oh as Africans we don't do that we mm-hmm. don't talk about that but in truth they are things that hurt us especially as women in an african society yeah. right. and a lot of people are very unaware or like to play ignorant when it comes to those things mm. and i'm like i'm going to sit here and talk about it and mm. if you don't like it then that tells you something right yeah i'd like to ask and there's a question i've seen that has been asked about by two people online mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. uh please give us the role of an influencer i remember you say you started in 2015 yeah but you actually actively got that title mm. about two two years back yes so what is the role of an influencer generally um so generally you influence people <laughs> yeah <laughs> good <laughs> or bad decisions yeah. <laughs> right yeah. no um i think right now in our market um an influencer is like an extension of 
say a company's or brand's uh, marketing sales team. Mm. So what happens is you you have you've created a platform that has a community. I like to call them communities. Mm -hmm. I don't like the word fans. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. So you've you've mm. built a community mm. and this community listens to you. Yeah. So when you make a suggestion, they are likely going to be like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. Like an authority in that community. Yes. Mm. You can be an sometimes you most people are not mm. authorities in certain fields but then you see them doing or saying things yeah. and people will listen yes but i think it's important to have a niche not necessarily just like a niche like just know your shit mm. Mm. know yeah. your shit <laughs> 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 <It's okay. laughs> mm -hmm. Apologies you, for sorry. that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Apologies. But like know your business. Know, yes, know what you're good at mm. because I think then that does make you an authority mm. in a certain field. Mm. And then that makes it easier for me to trust you. Yeah. Mm. You get like yeah. I'll trust your word more mm. when I know that you work with hair. Yeah. So if you tell me that this hair is good, yeah. I'll probably be inclined to believe you right. as opposed to if Arnold told me mm. I'd be like Arnold mm. Mm. are you saying I can't know anything about hair no you, you can, can example, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking you can yeah. have yeah. stuff about beanies <laughs> yeah, true, true. Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah true true yeah. but like so the role is like to bridge that gap between mm. brands and also I think it makes it more personalized because an influencer, 90% of the time, is someone who's used the product. So mm. I use it so you don't have to. Mm. That way, by the time you get to, mm -hmm. you already know what you're getting into. Mm. Right. Yeah. You think the industry that we are, you are in, mm -hmm. not even me, you are in, and what is happening, we have a lot of quacks and fake people. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm saying It's yeah. true, though. Because they, they make people... Oh, uh, <laughs> holes mm. in your in your field. Mm -hmm. Well, you see now, now I'm talking to you and I've seen your work. Yeah. I've seen like you're legit. But based on what sometimes we just see on face value mm. has made Kenyans poke holes on the industry. Yeah. Do you think that is a challenge that is facing your industry? Yes. Mm. Because um, at the end of the day, anyone can go create a Twitter account. Yes. Mm. Right. Mm. And then we have guys who can just go buy followers mm. because um, mm. <laughs> most people pay attention to numbers. Mm. Mm. So you're not paying attention to, the okay, content. does she know what she's talking about? Mm. You're like, who has a million followers here? You, you, and you, okay, come mm. here. You're not asking how I got them, mm. where they came from. Mm. Are they even genuine? Mm. Right? So you're assuming automatically that, oh, this person is going to help me reach a million people. Mm. Someone might have a million genuine followers, but only like three percent actually ever pays attention right. mm. um and out of that three percent only let's say 0 0.2 the algorithm shows them mm. what you post yeah. right because yeah. there's all these other things to consider mm. but a lot of people pay attention to numbers mm. and i don't think the truth is in the numbers yeah right, right. at least pay attention to the engagement because yeah. you can tell yeah mm. right yeah but with numbers you can't yeah you can't tell with followers you can't yeah. tell with subscribers true so so i guess given given that do you feel that that's made your job or your career as an influencer a little bit harder because it, i would assume that that would mean that you'd have to i guess defend your numbers defend your engagement defend your your statistics yeah do you think that's made the process of either getting brand deals or growing as a in this career a little bit harder yes mm. um especially for me because I never feel the need to defend what I do. Mm -hmm. And I am someone who I'm like, we'll either work together or we won't. If mm -hmm. you're coming to me because you like what I do, then we are working with what I do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a brand will come to you and then they tell you, you see Nani, who does what? I want you to create a video like that. Right. I'm like, but that's not my style. Mm -hmm. That's not what I do. Because mm. if your interest is in working with Karigo, by all means, mm. Mm. I should you be should be with there, mm. right? Mm. Because you shouldn't come. And I think that's another problem we're facing where brands are trying to morph influencers into what they think would work for their brand. Mm. And forgetting that what you should do is you should find a way in which your brand works for the influencer. Right. Because right. you're coming to my brand. Mm. It's not the other way around. Mm. Your brand will still stand. Mm. But it should be how does your product, for instance, yeah. work for me? Yeah. Because that's what my community will buy into. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because anyone can come and say, look, I painted this room orange. Yeah. Right? Mm. Yeah. But how does Muthoni do it? Yes. Right. Right? Yes. That's where it's at. Yeah. Because we can have, you You even have professional painters. Yeah. 
who can just come and stand there with a roller and be like mm. we've painted this wall mm. but how do i do it and mm. how will my community buy into that paint yeah mm. that's where it's at is the top of the hour nine we have a guest and her name is modoni getau the truth behind the life of an influencer 0719 012 is the number to dial hello spice hello hey hi irene hi karigo how are you i'm good how are you how's your day how's your evening it was good. Ah, yeah. Salimia, Barbara, and Arnold, and Mudoni. Bobby. Hi, darling. How are you? I'm very fine. And how are you? Salama, thank you for making time to call us as you greet Arnold. Anytime. And start formulating that question. Arnold. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. You know, I'm in a room full of ladies, so I can't complain. Hey! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Mudoni. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, nice to speak to all of you today. You too. <laughs> We're really learning. Uh, personally, I didn't know how uh, much about influencers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I follow them. Personally, I follow Mudoni a lot. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, so we're learning so much and I really appreciate the show. Yes. Yeah, I don't have much to say. You, Just you, learning and listening and enjoying the show. Oh, that's what we like. That's amazing. That's amazing. And if you yeah. have a question, she's still here. No, no, no. Uh, today, just allow me to learn. Oh, <laughs> no problem. No problems at all. Thanks, Irene. Uh, okay. Good evening, guys. I love you. Oh. Good you evening. Too. Take we care. Lo we love you more. Okay. The number to dial is 0719-012-600. Yes. Yes. Oh. Hi Tina. Hey, how are you guys? What's up, Tina? <laughs> I I'm well. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing very well. Hey Muzani. Hey Tina. <laughs> Actually, came across an interview you did um, on someone else's YouTube, uh -huh. and then yeah, I oh, followed, Shima. but I didn't really subscribe. So <gasps> <I'm>, yeah. <laughs> What? At least, at least you can admit it. <laughs> <laughs> this, this no, <laughs> yeah. You know what's so interesting? Uh -huh. That she does all these things, mm. like self-taught. <laughs> yes, right. she's yes. actually a self-taught person. <laughs> Mudani, honestly, you should be teaching design school. Uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> you, know she said, you know she said she's she's doing a few different things, so maybe it's it in the timeline. Be, yeah. Mm. So, or we can learn from your YouTube. Mm. Yes. I'll yeah. think about that. Thought, yeah. So I was wondering, um, do you have any like technical training, or it's all self-taught? It's all self-taught. Wow. That's <laughs> brilliant. Oh that's you see, yeah. that's, that's brilliant. I yeah. know. The power of the Thank 21st you. century. I'm telling you. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> but if crazy. anything, this is good. This should give this should give people hope that mm. you can pursue anything that you want. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Anything. You know. Hey. Oh my god. Because you know, like the way the education system is here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially in uni so i'm yeah. talking like from my personal experience mm. a lot of things are very theoretical mm. so yes. you see we have these practical um like courses which chants out thousands of students after so people are un unemployed because all they have are theoretical skills right yeah. yes theoretical. so yeah. unless you're maybe like me who went and started a business and then you learn the ropes as you go yeah mm -hmm. A lot of people are ending up in wrong careers or they have no other choice but to go and work somewhere else that's because true. they don't have this kind of skill. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. Yeah, this this is awesome. I know, yeah. it's brilliant, Tina, eh? Yeah, I'm I'm actually watching a guest room makeover you. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, I have, of course, I have already. <laughs> Thank you so much. I oh appreciate God, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice to talk to you always, guys. You too, Tina. Tina. Yeah. Yeah, man. Good night, Tina. Bye bye. Good. Hi, Stella. Yeah. Hi Stella. Oh, Mambo, how are you? 
Stella, what's happening? I can't hear you, Bana. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can. Are you fine? How are you, Stella? Speak louder. I'm fine. Oh, good. Say hi to the Duchess, the bad boy, Modoni, and then you, you do what you usually do. <laughs> <laughs> Duchess, how are you? I'm fine, my darling. How have you been? I'm fine. Is Kitali good? Always good. Oh, nice. But busy tata, how are you? What's going on? <laughs> You're well? It was yes, I'm well. I love to hear it. I love to hear it. Kindly greet our lovely guest. Mudoni, how are you? Hi, hi Stella. I'm very fine. I'm very influenced by your influence. <laughs> See, I told these people this is what I do. I love to make good choices though. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I need to learn from you more. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, why she's here. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> now, bad boy. Tell me. It's a yay. Of, of course it's a yay. Of course. <laughs> Today's one was fire. Of course it's Stella. <laughs> Relax. Yeah. It's a yay. Relax. No, Stella, you know, I said to you I had to make it up <laughs> for this week because people somehow have been hating this week's pickup lines. So... <laughs> I had to, I had to, I had to come correct yes, today. Yeah. 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 Somebody even said you were starting now to relax. <laughs> oh yes, yes, true, <laughs> true, yes. But you, you liked it very much. Oh, good. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. So now, do you, do you have a a question for Modoni? Not a question, but something like uh, a contribution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the influencers always they struggle and they hurt. Mm. Yeah, but they really struggle to make it up to where they want to to be. Mm. Mm. Yes, it's a it's a hard yeah. journey, which is why uh, you know they say if it was easy, everybody would do it. Oh yeah, That's true. yeah. Mm. Thank you so much, and Stella. Now, okay, I want to give them the guest in the studio mm -hmm. as a dedication uh -huh. <laughs> just play for her walking in Memphis oh. Hi, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've made you've made Karigo's day I can guarantee you that hey you know that's my jam <laughs> <laughs> thank you Stella thank you guys have a good night have you a too good night Stella Hello, Spice. Hello, hi. Hey, how are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm good. Please say your name and where you're calling from. My name is Judas. Judas. Judas I'm from? from my group, yes. Ah, great. Please say hi to the bad boy, the Duchess, and our guest, Mudoni. Hi, guys. What's hi. going on? Oh, I'm loving the conversation. <laughs> Mudoni, I think we've... we've We've met with Judah, and I'm loving your ideas. I'm loving your thought patterns. Oh, and cool. Thank you. It's so amazing listening to you guys talking. Oh. We're really glad that you're into enjoying it, though. I'm really, I'm really happy you guys are talking about things that are really challenging us to look at things in a very different way. Mm. Yes, yes. And that's that's the whole point of, of us being here. It's to not only inspire each other, but to, you know, push people to be their best selves, you know? And mm. these are the conversations exactly. that help us get there. Mm. True, true, bro. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I'm still tuned. <laughs> We've still got more time, so don't, don't touch that dial. <laughs> I'm loving it, Arnold. Bye, guys. Thanks All so right, much. Thank Ciao. You. Good night. Good night. Hello, Spice. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hey. I'm very, I'm very fine, thank you. Oh, please tell me your name and where you're calling from. I'm, I'm calling from Karatina. Hey! Mm -hmm. Karatina. Hey, hey, hey. Please say hi ah. to Duchess. Say hi to Arnold and Mudoni. Hi, Duchess. Hi, how are you, sir? I'm very fine, thank you. Talk to us. Okay, hello, bad boy. Hey, how are you doing? Happy uh, happy w Thursday. I was going to say Wednesday. Happy Thursday. Uh, happy, very fine, last day. Yes. 
Grubach. Yes, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. Me, I'm just listening to the show. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm very, I'm very much enjoying it. Oh, that's, that's what we'd like to hear. And, uh, in fact, I'm a, I'm a faded Tunisian. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, the f I, this is the first time calling? Hello? This is the first time calling? Yeah, it's a very, very fast time, but I'm a faded Tunisian. Oh, well, welcome to the family. Since you started the show. Oh, that's wow. nice. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just listening for now. I don't have any comment. I'm no problem. Thank you okay. so thank you so much. Remember to tell a friend to tell a friend. Exactly. <laughs> ah, good night. Same to you, you too. Hello, Spice. Hello. Hi, Hi. how are you? Uh, I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Uh, Please tell us your name and where you're calling from. Um, okay, so my name is Brian. Mm hmm uh i'm in nakuru oh brian from nakuru please say hi to the duchess the bad boy and mudoni hi brian hey hi duchess i'm <laughs> good good to hear from you thank you for making time to call us what are your thoughts about today's conversation as you greet the rest um hi arnold what's hi. going on brian uh, everything's good that's what i like to hear <laughs> yeah. yeah so um i'd like to say that um, I'm really loving what Mudon is doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'm just appreciating her work. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so <laughs> much, Brian. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Hey, people are calling, calling to say. <laughs> you, yeah, I, I don't think people have ever had a woman with. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. With you know, force. Young. Not mm. older mm -hmm. and you know hot exactly <laughs> yes so it's a self confidence for me <laughs> hi Lydia ah papa mambo poa sana tuko poa abari yako abari yamasiku putuko poa na nini salama sana mami how have you been well, I'm very fine abisa thank you for making time to call we us we are just thanking God for yes life mm. and we we cannot take it for granted definitely yes. definitely yes. definitely yes <laughs> hi hello i'm very fine yeah how's your night from nakuru oh that's so dope i've performed yeah. poetry in nakuru <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> Lydia. Yeah, mm. Yes. Uh, okay. Lydia, you have so any questions for Mudoni? So I can call you. We call it in Kikuyu Garana. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just thanking God for your work. Mm. Oh, thank you. And wishing you well. Mm. What do you train? Do you train with us? <clears throat> Not at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe in the future. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Lydia would Lydia would you want to be trained by Modoni? Ah, yeah. Um, you see. In, in future. I'm I'm sure now she's seeing the way, you know, job opportunities. Mm -hmm. This is how they come. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sure she will put that in consideration. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. One day. Yeah, one day, one day at a time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. So, Karibo, how is your is your home site? My home site is good, very good. Hey. Yes, yes. It's raining though, and it's a bit cold, but it's good, very oh. good. Hey. Yes. Even here in Nakuru, we are fine. Hmm. Kuna juwa kidogo, kidogo hivi kioni na nyesha. Hmm. Where is it the uh, man you call him bad boy and why? <laughs> yeah, I'm right I'm right here. I'm just listening to you. I'm giving you the space to to, to to speak. Yeah? Yeah, but I'm right here. I'm well. Life is good, we are blessed. Yeah. Mm, it's a blessing to be alive. Okay. Mm. We are fine too in this area Nakuru City. 
Ah, good. One one day I'll I'll, I'll go to Nakuru one day. <laughs> you have never gone. No, not yet. <laughs> yeah, okay. But I, I will I will put it on my list. It has to happen. Okay. Mm. Thank you so much I'm for calling us, Lydia. I'm wishing all of you well. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lydia. Have a lovely, lovely oh. night. Okay. Okay, good night. Yes, her name is Mudoni Getao. The truth behind the life of an influencer. Hi, Baba Wanda. Hi. Hi, how are you? How are you? We are good. We are good. Say hi to the Duchess and Bad Boy. And our guest, hi, Mudoni. Guys. Hi, how are you, my dear? I'm fine, thank you. Talk to us. Hi, hi, Mr. Kafanao. <laughs> <laughs> You know that name will never get old. I should just, I, never get old. I should just add it to my birth certificate at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing well. It's good to hear from you. Hi, Mudoni. Hi. But if, if Kenya had many guy, many many people like you, mm -hmm. we would have been very far. <laughs> <laughs> Make me your president. <laughs> Not president. We, get, we don't want president. We oh. just want to rule the world. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the presidency can wait, but productivity comes first. Right, yeah. right. Do you have questions yeah, for Mudoni? Uh, yes, I'm talking to Mudoni. <laughs> <laughs> Baba Wanda. Uh, I'm not, I'm not Katiari Mudoni. I'm no, just I'm saying <laughs> product. Productivity matters a lot in this country. Okay, sawa baba wana. Yes. <laughs> As I we are good. We are yes. good, we are good. But then there is a song I wanted to play for me. It will look for me. Uh huh. It's called my it's by Michael Bolton. Which one? Go the distance. Mm -hmm. Go the distance. Go the distance. Go the yeah. distance. Okay. Yeah. If we have it, we'll play it for you. If we don't, we'll play something close. Sawa. <laughs> That's my carigo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hello, Spice. Hello, Spice. Ooh, zero seven one nine zero one two six hundred is the number to dial. Hello, Spice. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you? Sorry, please speak a bit louder so we can hear you. They are talking to Mary. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mary. I'm from Hi, Hello. Hi. Hello, Spice. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, Carrie. Are you? I'm good. Please say to the Duchess and the bad boy and Mudon. Hey, hi everyone over there. Hey. <laughs> I like how you summed yeah, summed I'm, all of us up nicely. I'm 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 new. I'm new. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Welcome. Yeah, I'm I'm just following the conversation. Mm -hmm. And I'm really getting educated on the same. Mm. So as uh, as just as just checking in, yes, and tell you guys that I'm following spies. I've, I've been listening to you people for a, a week at least right now. Oh, that's great! And I'm loving your shows. Welcome does, to the family. Thank you. Does that mean we shall see you next week as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in. Nikondani. Nikondani. Ah, Tasha. Ah, Safi Kabisa. I'm called Favor. Favor. Favor from? I'm, I'm from Kawaskari. Oh, great. We will save your number and please tell a friend to tell a friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a good night, guys. Have you a too. lovely night. Thank you. So, Modani. Mm -hmm. Okay. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Spice. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm back again. I'm Mary. Hi, Mary. I want to congratulate you for what you're doing. 
Great. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Mabani. Yes. You are inspiring us very, very much. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Yes, darling. Dad, yes. Hi. Yes, Mary. How are you? I'm very fine. How's your day today? I'm very fine. Thank you for making time to call us and to listening to the show. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm first time listener. Ah. Mm. And first time caller. Great. First time listener and first time I'm caller. Telling you, double, double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome to the family. Oh, thank you. Have a lovely night. Have you a lovely too. night. The number to dial is zero seven one nine zero one two six hundred. So, Mudani, what do your parents think about you being an influencer? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you, what do you, mean? you don't know because I, I I don't ask. Um, I'm I'm someone. Okay, my parents are really cool people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't like unless you take information yeah. to them yeah. and go like, okay, so. This and this is happening. They'll never try and budge in and whatever. Or no. cry in your life. Yeah. Mm. They're, they're, they're like, I trust you to make good decisions. And if you need me, I'm here. Mm. Mm. As long as you're That's eating, it. you're fed, you're yes. safe. Mm. Like, yeah. Those are the questions my mom asks. Yeah. Have yeah. you eaten today? Yeah. Okay, good. Mm. That's mm. it. Like, okay. mm. Do you need anything? Yeah. Or when she's coming to Nairobi, Nikuleta yeah. <laughs> nini? And then she cooks food and comes with it because there's no food in Nairobi. That's what I believe. Yeah. I know. She will, my mom oh, will carry man. mboshos. She will ask you, Gither ya mom mbosho? Maybe mbosho. <laughs> <laughs> no, more uh, no, actually. Oh, no. that's beans. beans. And then oh, she like boils. Dengu. No. No. Beans, beans. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Beans, yellow beans. Mm. Yeah. Oh, just okay. In general. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So she will do beans, boil them, pack them nicely. Yeah. Curry popos. Hey. Mm -hmm. Bananas. Oh, there's a problem. We didn't know how. He didn't hear or listen. <laughs> it's not a problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's, it's a reality. that's why I told you papaya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was, I was explaining why we have to translate. Yeah. <laughs> you, you've translated directly from Kiswahili. So you mean, yes. yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Mbosho is Kikuyu. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's, <laughs> Not that, so that's yeah. why. That's why I'm like, yeah. I've never heard that before. And I've, yeah. you know, I've heard a few terms here and there. My, my, the dictionary is growing. It's growing. <laughs> the vocabulary is growing. I yeah. can see. Hello, Spice. Hello. Hi, how are you? Oh my goodness. The call has dropped. Zero seven one nine zero one two six hundred. Hello, Spice. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. Please I'm Jackie from Kisumu. Sorry? Jackie, Jackie from, from Kisumu. Aha. Uh -huh. Hi, Jackie. Please say to the Duchess and the bad boy and our guest, Modoni. Hi, Barbara. Hi, darling. How have you been? I'm good. I've been following your show. I love your voice, you guys. Oh, uh, thank you. All of you, like, from the first time you guys started airing the show, I, li I love it. Oh, Asante San, and thank you for always listening. We are so humbled. Mm. What are your thoughts about I'm the conversations today? Do you have a question for Modoni? Uh, no, Modoni, I just appreciate your work. That's good. Mm. Thank you. Uh, thank I really you. Appreciate you Continue doing what you're doing. I will. Okay. Thank, thank you so you. much, Jackie, for calling us. Have a lovely, lovely night. You too, guys. Thank you. Good night. Hello, Spice. Okay, Arnold. <laughs> I know it. Have it. I thought you'd give me a look to ask a question. <laughs> <laughs> have it. No, they will be looking at okay, me. Okay, as you're uh -huh. saying, yeah. Modoni, you're deep. I must have watched your YouTube videos, but I must admit, I never got to see the side of you. May God guide you in the journey. Rono Emily says, I'm getting to learn about YouTube. That's where influence influencers involved. I'm yet to check Modoni out, but she sure will. Yay. We are having a <laughs> conversation with Modoni Guitar. Please let us know on at spicefmke dot co co dot ke is where you can listen and watch it. Watch us at spicefmke on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Use the hashtag the adults ke. Send us a text four zero one two seven.
is Karigo Gatere and we are having a conversation with Mudoni Ketao. Please call us on 0719012600. The truth behind the life of an influencer. So Mudoni, somebody would ask, mm -hmm. seven years, eight years, that's not a long time to call it quits. <laughs> <laughs> they would ask because when, when that question was because when you guys you know came out yeah. and you said and you shared the experience which in my opinion was very very brave mm -hmm. like hey mm. i was like yo but then somebody came and asked you know the, the, that question was running around the, s the streets of social media yeah you know the socials the twitters and mm -hmm. the instagrams seven years mm -hmm. seven even if it was 20 and that felt like the right decision, still would have done it. it. Mm. And Liwe Liwalo, you yeah. know it was the right decision. Yeah. So what would you tell somebody who is or went through mm -hmm. what you went through and they're feeling, now how do I get out of this? Choose Seven yourself. Seven is too long. Mm. Choose yourself. Yeah. Choose your own happiness. Yeah. Mm. Because if you're not happy in a situation, it does not matter how long you stay in it yeah it you'll s yeah it's not going to change so yeah. i don't think there's a time limit mm. even if it's been a couple of months mm. you've been talking to this guy for three weeks mm. and you're the Aish, mm. walk mm. if you feel like i actually think that if you feel at any point that you're asking yourself hmm should i stay that's mm. a sign mm. if you doubt it if you, you yeah it. because wow. if it was good you would not be having those questions yeah if you're happy if you're enjoying yourself if yeah. you're enjoying your time there yeah like I've never seen anyone go like, hmm, I really love my job. I should start looking for another one. Mm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that's you yeah, that's true. Because you're not happy. Exactly. That's true. Or about you, something. Yes. Yeah, so mm. if you ask yourself those questions, mm. Mm, it's usually the first sign. You yeah. mentioned that you you used to do the videos with him just once a week. Yes. So just once a week was when now social media saw the both of you together. Yes. Mm. In another world, mm -hmm. would you still do it all over again? Yeah, the relationship or the video? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got two for one. Yeah. <laughs> Give us two for one. Yeah. But even, even, I think even the process of just like making the decision to do this as a as a couple yes. and actually go out publicly yeah. even though the platform wasn't intended to be a relationship yes. platform yeah. but having, making this decision to, to do this together. Mm. Maybe not. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Why do, you, why do you say that? Because I get the entitlement thing. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh. People, people feel wanting super entitled to your lives. To the point, like, even now, um, I'll go somewhere, post a video. I'm doing my socials. I'm having fun with my friends. And mm. someone will be like, wait, so-and-so. Mm. I'm like, why don't you go ask them where they are? <laughs> like, if you are so concerned about where someone is, mm. why are you asking someone who they're not with? Mm. Mm. You know? Mm. We, yeah. So does that mean that in the next relationship which we don't know when will be yeah or if you're planning if you're open mm -hmm. so no social media or yes to social media I, but no videos i don't know you don't know <laughs> mm. As she I, said she goes with the flow i go with the flow i mm. like that yeah I like, that. like if it feels if it feels if right it feels right if it feels good because even that that felt right yeah mm. right it yeah. felt okay it yeah. wasn't like something that was like oh we have to do this mm. no it's because it felt right so if it feels right sure if mm. it doesn't then yeah do you have any regrets in the journey that you've taken? One second, Barbara. Hello, Spice. Hello. Yes, Spice FM. Hi, how are you? I'm Kumu Dan from Kisumu. Sorry, you're from Kisumu and your name is? Evans. Evan. Hi, Evans. Please speak a bit louder so that our guest can hear you clearly. Yes, but I, I, I wanted you to play for me. Sorry, say that again. Battlefield from Nadine. Uh huh. Or. Uh huh. Hello. Hi, we are here, Evans. Or already gone by. Okay, we have noted this down. Do you want to say hi to our guest and Barbara and the bad boy before we play your song? Sorry, Modoni. Or Modoni, <laughs> our guest and Barbara and the bad boy. Oh. I will to come on my request. At I was out to party salamu. I was not flowing. Uh huh. Okay. Now I just tuned in. Yes. Yes. 
just just realized that uh, something is going on that I was not following. So the only thing to do was just to request for a song. Okay, cool. No worries. Evans, we have had you. <laughs> so let me keep waiting. Okay, cool. Have a lovely, lovely evening. You too, Barbara, Olivia, and uh, everyone over there. Okay, <laughs> thank okay. you. We'll pass the regards to Olivia. <laughs> so. Hi, Marcy. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. Please say hello to our guest and the Duchess and the bad boy. Oh, hi. Hi, Marcy. Um, Arnold, hi. Arnold, hi. Oh, hi. How are you, sir? I, th I thought you were still talking to M Madoni. How are you? I'm doing good. That's great to hear. Uh, can be great, Barbara? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Uh, Mudoni, before we went on a break, uh, I was asking a question, uh, not the break per se, but before we picked a call. Yeah. Mm. Uh, when it comes to your career in mm. the influencing journey, are there any regrets you've had and things you say I could do different? No, because there are no do-overs. Mm -hmm. And mm. I don't want to dwell on things that I could have done different. Mm -hmm. The question is, what can I do with what I know now? Yes, right. what can you make do? it better? Yeah. So is it something you'd care to share? What can I do? Yes. Yeah, so what are you doing different? Different? I don't know. I just show up as myself. Wow. Always. That's the one thing that wow is That's very important for me. Showing mm. up as me mm. at all times. Wow. Mm. Um, even when I feel like I'm not someone who hides when they're going through stuff. Mm. If I'm down, I'll be like, Yo, I'm down, but. Mm. we move because yeah. um like recently we got robbed oh gosh um, so my laptop was stolen okay uh my Nairobi. hard drive <laughs> Nairobi. this is actually campbell oh and no yeah so and then i was just like i felt down especially the next day because yeah. it happened on my birthday oh no. your no. what oh. yeah the devil is working overtime i know Yo. like someone has paid this but like you know, hey. chill, so relax, work on other people, mm. come back, give me mm. a moment to breathe. Yeah, yeah. let me re recruit. But, and I'm I so had sorry. this, Gosh. I had this thing planned out for my birthday and I still tried to make it happen mm. because I was like, this. yeah, my day's not going to be ruined by this. And then the next day I woke up, I was like, okay, now let's deal with this. Mm. And then the day after that, I was like, well, we move. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because yeah. if I stay there for too long, mm. I will be easily consumed. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then life will pass me by. Mm. So yeah. I try not to dwell. Mm. If there's if there's anyone that understands that it's me, I've been robbed twice <laughs> this year. So sorry. He's been the, in a span of how many months? Three months. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> literally. <wow>. Literally. <laughs> if my the, if heart goes out to you. I'd, my heart <laughs> goes out to you. <laughs> Ask him where he was when he was being robbed. Okay. Where I, were you? The, okay. Wait. The first time. <laughs> the first time. He was out. Out. I was out and about <laughs> yes uh, out in these narrow really streets went to see the robbers uh, clearly yes yeah. yes okay. yes yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah so I'm my sorry. my my question to you is um what would you say are some of the misconceptions that people have because you spoke a little bit about the process of actually creating content yeah um and how that's actually very time consuming etc uh do you care to kind of divulge into that a little bit because i know there's people out there who have aspirations to to build a brand and to be a person of influence yeah and maybe they're kind of struggling with how to actually make that transition or how to elevate their career yeah um so what's what's that process been like i think a lot of people see two or three people who gain this quote-unquote overnight success mm. and you think oh so it's that easy all i have to do is dance on tiktok mm. or go viral on youtube mm. or people talk about me on facebook mm. okay i can do that mm. or do something heinous yeah mm. or you know <laughs> have <laughs> a, a certain person news. talk about me right on right. a certain tea day yeah right <laughs> and that's yeah. like <laughs> and you get famous right <laughs> I mean, it has I'm happened like that for yeah. some people yeah. Yeah. right yeah but is it sustainable mm. is that it's sustainable not, it's because not. it's not what people don't realize is when you're taking your journey mm. you're learning stuff along the way mm. there's guys who 
wake up one day and they're viral but without a plan mm. and then like you had one video and then will you be chasing the virality of that video with every single thing you do after that ah uh. i have made videos across a lot of different subjects mm -hmm. and it took a while for me to find what i wanted to do and it was always i remember at one point where i was like there's this stuff that people want to watch yeah and then there's what i want to make mm -hmm. and i remember talking to a friend of mine and she was like okay you can try and find a balance mm. But then it got to a point I was like, no, I think I'll make what I want to make mm. because that makes me happy. And it reflects mm. in the video. You yeah. can tell I'm Would having fun. Mm. Yes. Mm. You can you can tell it's more natural. Yeah. It's not like, okay, cool. This is what I'd written down. So mm. let, me, mm, let me remember all my words. Yeah. But that journey, it molds you. Mm. And I'm like, if you get instant success, get the right people around you. Right. Mm. Because right. if you don't have a team, if you don't, like, I won't lie to you. I know someone like Aziad. Mm. she had the right team mm. right because mm. one thing happened like this fast mm. she's young mm. without the right team all that could have just fizzled in like mm. one week and yeah. people be like who yeah, mm. yeah but yeah. having a team yeah if you can yeah really like reach out to people say hey so yeah. this has happened i don't know what to do yeah. mm. they'll direct you they'll yeah. guide you yeah if you are trying to build a brand ask yourself why it's important to you and what you want it to represent uh -huh. and then don't don't stray from that uh -huh. what are you about yeah mm -hmm. yeah like yeah. me there's certain things you'll never see me talk about yes if a brand is like anti something that i'm for yeah i can't work with you yeah. because yeah. that's not what i stand for yeah it's very easy to say take the money that's on the table now, i wanted to ask you that <laughs> what happens when you're going through hard times and we know the creative industry yeah. in kenya is not easy and i want you to answer that after this small break because okay. There are people listening. There's some. There's a listener mm. wondering, but Bufani, <laughs> you mm. don't know how things are thick, mm. and I need this money, you know. Yeah. So we're having a conversation with Mudoni Getau. The truth behind the life of an influencer. The number to dial is zero seven one nine zero one two six hundred. Spice FM KE on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Remember to always use the hashtag. Adults KE, Walking in Memphis is up next. Spice FM, and you are listening to the adults in the room. Call us on 0719012600. So my, my, I'll make this my final question for the night because I know we're almost wrapping up. Uh, but now that you have gone through this journey, now that you've, you know, you've found yourself and you've been pursuing this career, what is next for you? What would be the, the one thing that you say, you know what, if I can achieve this in my career mm -hmm. or this is what I'm working towards now, what would you say that is for, for you? If you asked me that question like three, four months ago, the answer would have been very different. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to go into production design completely because okay. i love films mm -hmm. and for me it was like it would be a way to merge those two things right right the design work and film yeah uh and then i remembered oh money <laughs> 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 i kind of need to money. eat yeah <laughs> yeah so i think i think i would want like a show on netflix oh okay. or like hgtv type mm. stuff mm -hmm. where it's like big time cable yeah. tv and like home in, deco and then mm. being watched like sa ghana mm. egypt like all over africa yeah and then transforming homes in like different parts of africa mm. that would be it so there's like a show i'm working on oh wow okay. but don't don't forget us. Yeah. yeah when you're, <laughs> what when are you're you done? <laughs> like, like, I don't know. <laughs> what is like, <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless you know her from a past. No, I'm just <laughs> you Kenyans like plugging in. And no, I'm, I'm just saying, <laughs> don't forget us in the sense of, in the context of yeah. when I see you and I say, hi, Mothoni. And I'm just like, 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 uh, be like uh, who's like, that babe? So we've we've, we've met before. <laughs> 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 Celebrity, you've claimed matatus together. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. We'll, we'll become those people that are like, you know, I knew her when she was still coming up. Mm. You know, like we used, to, we used to take matatus together. And then because we've done an interview with her, mm. you know all the facts. So right. You, you say it <laughs> oh, all. my goodness. <laughs> a question just before you, we plug you in. Mm. There's a question that has been asked by two people. One of them is Adrian Tony. Okay. You started answering it, but we went on a break. Mm. And I'll ask uh, the last part of that particular question. And he's asking, 
what would uh, what is the advice you would give to those people the small influencers mm. who are penetrating the market who are just or who are coming up mm. and they would want to be either like you or uh, feature or influence in other sectors experiment as much as you can now because once you you pick something and stick to it it will be so much harder to switch mm. so play around mm. see what you like and then this is also the chance to like build on your style mm -hmm. um, how do you want to film your videos um, how do you want to tell your stories do you mm. want to script because that also plays a fact mm. um, do you want to work in like say do, do you want to be purely lifestyle do you want to dabble in cars right mm. this is a chance to know what exactly do you want to create? Because then the moment you are there and you're like, oh, I am a DIY influencer. And then someone goes like, oh, cool. Do you want to do cars? Mm -hmm. And you're like, okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that switch, it's like, because you've built a community around this one thing. Mm -hmm. It's harder to sell them on something different. Mm -hmm. Unless your plan is to have multiple um, brands running mm. at the same time. Could you say that our current generation of influencers, not all of you, mm. but the reason why I feel like some of the content is dilute, that's my opinion, mm -hmm. is because they do what you're saying. They, you are into flasks or mm -hmm. laptops. Mm -hmm. And we've known you telling us about fla fla uh, that or makeup. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, Arnold comes with a product because he's looking at the number of followers you yeah. have. Mm -hmm. And now you're influencing cars. Mm. And I feel like there's always a shift mm. uh, on, on, on the product. Yeah. Could that be the reason why some of them are the, uh, the brand is diluted or the product or we do not believe in the product per se? It's because the way we influence is we make the influencers change for the brand mm. instead of making their brand work for the influencer. Mm. Because I use cars, yes. mm. right? Mm. Um, I can tell you like the car I want. It's a Jeep. It's not mm. a car. Yes. <laughs> it's a Wrangler. <laughs> Any other Jeep. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're, you are like driving a Wrangler, you have a Jeep. Yes. If you have like a Cherokee or whatever, you have a car. Okay. <laughs> so, like, you get the so, open feel. Yeah. <laughs> I know that thrill. Mm. So, I can, I can do that, right? Yeah. I do DIYs. But then if they say, okay, show this car in this way. Like, for me, say, if Jeep called me, call me. Mm. Um, okay, um, let's say this, <laughs> this car company Yeah, let's say that yes. car company mm. calls. Yeah. Um, for me, it would be how does it work in my life mm. as someone who does DIYs and interior design. Right. So it's like I'm carrying my tools. Um, if my paint spills, how do I clean that? Like mm. if it's a cleaning product, mm. right? But we can't all be like, look, there's this product. It cleans. And then we all go clean our toilets. Then yeah. mm. And then yes. you get like, yes. that's mm. the problem we usually have. And yeah. it's because sometimes even the brands, they don't give you a chance to have any creative freedom mm -hmm. they come and say we want to work with you and this is what you're going to do mm. it might it, for me it makes more sense for me to say okay cool so this is the brand you have this mm. is the brand i have mm. and this is how your brand works into mine mm. as in let me work out the plan for, for this yes because then then you giving me what you want yes because when you dictate like that I'm the one who understands my audience. That's it. I can easily tell you my audience is not going to even yeah. be receptive to that. Yeah. Because I know the things that they like. Yeah. People need to approach influencers knowing that. Like, I know my audience and I can tell you this, if I do this. Yeah. Yeah. We but can do it because there's money on the table. That's, yes. that's what I wanted to right? ask. Then why do it as an influencer? So personally, I wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> mm. and, and, and answer this question as you answer also in a nutshell. Mm. What are the do's and don'ts of an influencer? <sighs> I think that would change on a personal basis. Okay. From one influencer to the next. Okay. I have my own do's and don'ts. Like what are I your said, do's and don'ts? For me, do's the and do's don't. is if yeah. I don't believe in your product, I'm not going to sell it. I can't sell a product I've not used. Mm. So it can't be, uh, I just tell them this and this. This is what it does. <laughs> yeah. But does it do that? Yeah. Because like what you're doing, what people don't pay attention to and this is for influencers themselves mm. is you're damaging your own word mm. right because now i can't trust your word if you tell me go here there's a sale mm. for 20 percent off mm. and i show up mm. and they say oh we've not even had a sale in the last month mm. why would i ever trust you again yeah. if you tell me about is at stake. yes yeah so that's where influencers uh, as ourselves we we forget that bit because we're like oh money on the table yes. let's go yes but you should ask yourself, how does that reflect on you? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because so that, that thing I was telling you, mm. if you are pro something, I'm anti. Yeah. Mm. Me saying, oh, let's go with this brand. Then just 
doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Mm. Yeah. So Modani, in two minutes, yeah. where can we find you? You can find me on all social media <laughs> platforms. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the handle. Facebook. Plug us. Uh-huh. I hardly do anything there. There's a page that exists. <laughs> I know. I feel okay. like we all began with Facebook. And <laughs> I don't know. Remember it where exists. I yes. anymore. Active? Yeah. Most active on Instagram. Yeah. I recap my days like in the evening. Yes. Um. Every single day. I am very active on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you want to see Muthoni, the activist, mm. the, huh, mm. Twitter. Mm. If you want to see like, oh my God, look at me, my Aww. life. That's on Instagram. <laughs> 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 then if you want to see Muthoni, the fundi, mm. YouTube, Muthoni Gitao. Wow. If you want to see Muthoni and her cats, being a crazy cat lady, yes. just doing life on YouTube. Yes. Subscribe, like, I respond to my dms as much as i can oh. mm-hmm. i do my best to respond to like almost all my comments yes and also i do block people <laughs> um, <laughs> we just so, come correct yeah just like the energy you bring i multiply it by three so ask yourself yeah. would you take it three times over <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> thank you so much Madoni, for gracing us with your presence honestly mm. you are an amazing amazing I'm amazing person yes. <laughs> so duchess bad boy patting shots quickly, um quickly. I, I think i will i will wrap up by saying first of all thank you so much for coming um i think this is a conversation that a a lot of people need to hear because many of us want to uh step into this space but we don't really understand the scope of it Mm -hmm. and what it takes to actually build that brand so having these conversations is vital for people out there who actually want to step into this space so thank you not all of us will ever get formal employment or white collar jobs so open your mind and open your hearts to doing other things you never know what is out there i like it i like it today we had a conversation from seven to eight about resilience and i'm sure mudoni has spoken so much Mm. about resilience and we are very very honored to have had you here so we have the situation room up tomorrow from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Mid morning, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. The Spice Drive with Quatch from se- from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Then we, the adults in the room, take over from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. I'm so happy that you joined us from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. We will see you tomorrow. You can continue to let us know how your day is, how you're doing on at Spice FM KE. Facebook, Instagram, 